Okay, Jesse, Manny. Trunks are good on both sides. We went over the rules in the dressing room. I'm going to caution to keep this fight clean at all times. Protect yourself at all times. And what I say, you must obey. Good luck to both of you. Over 17,000 here at the Thomas and Mack Center. Brian Kenny, Tim Bradley, Stephen A. Smith. Nothing like Michael Buffer yeah. asking, are you ready? <laughs> yes, I love it. we are ready. I ready love it. Rumble, We're ready. Baby. We're ready. Saddam Ali is the name you kept hearing that Timothy Bradley. He's going against Manny Pacquiao now. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Let's see. I've heard a lot, Brian. Let's find out now. Round one underway. And Senator Pacquiao gets into the center of the ring. Tim, the first time you were in there with Pacquiao, no matter what you're watching tape, what's different when you get in there and you see him up close? Now his presence, I go back to his presence, man. He always have you on edge. He has right now, he has Vargas on edge right now. Right now, he's burning, he's burning his gas tank right now. Just see the how pressure. Vargas, just the pressure, his presence. He's always inching forward. He's always using feints, moving his head from out too far. Sometimes Jesse Vargas got to step to him with that jab. Stick that jab out there when he's moving his head from too far out. The, you thing, know? That, the thing that has gotten most everyone through these last, uh, last decade or two with Manny Pacquiao, especially remember the classic with Juan Manuel Marquez in that first round, the electrifying speed. Yes. You just cannot believe how fast he is. He closes the distance so fast all the time. You know, and, and, and Jesse Vargas can't allow him to close the distance, you know, and, and, and if he feels he's safe at any point in that ring, he's really not. Because that's how fast Manny Pack out close the distance. Jesse in Vargas not. fires out a jab and a right hand, and a jab once again trying to get that distance. Manny Pacquiao has been around for quite a long time. There's very, very few people that have been able to stop him and close the distance. Well, what I like from Jesse right now is, is that he's controlling that gate right now. He's in the guards now. I like it. I like what I'm seeing. That's what he's going to have to do all night against Manny Pacquiao. What about Vargas and the, the distance of his legs? Like, he's spread way out, giving away that height. Yeah. Just nervous? No, that's just his style. He likes to keep his legs Come out. Come on, Timmy. Spread out like that. Oh. He's got to be a little nervous. Oh, yeah. Come on, Timmy. I, he, oh, like I told you, it's his Pacquiao's presence. Yeah, he keeps injured forward. I mean, he's ready to strike at all times like he needs to be. But I'm telling you, it takes from the gas tank. It does. You got to be aware of that. Jesse Vargas, 27 years old. His one loss to the man to my right here, Timothy Bradley, as Pacquiao steps in. You can hear this crowd. Nice right hand by Jesse Vargas right there. Nice left hand by Pacquiao. Slightly blocked. Vargas has that, uh, that right hand responsibly up in front of his face, which is a good idea when you're fighting Pacquiao. That left hand is dangerous. That's all I'm going to tell you. Pacquiao's last fight. April of this year, it was an impressive win over the man to my right, Timothy yes. Bradley. Yes, By the way, was. I thought he looked tremendous in that fight. You, you saw that. Because yes. you, you beat him the first time. Yes. You're on your way to beating him the second time. Third time, he yeah. looked a little different, didn't he? Yeah, you know what? He was he was just patient. He was super patient. I was expecting him to attack me a lot more. That's what I was prepared for. But he was patient. He was relaxed. Well, why didn't you adjust to that patience? <laughs> Vargas fires back a right hand to keep him off. Oh, as things get feisty at the end of round one. Frank, though, the other, <laughs> the one was, was the point of, of it. Come on, he was a lot of fun. All right, round two. Tell him he got knocked out. What'd you think that first round? That was a close round, no? <laughs> yes, hard. it was. Uh, not much scoring there. Not it much a, scoring. It was a close round. I'd give it even, to be honest with you. Back out just landed a straight left. As Vargas tries Vicious. to go to the body. Vargas is staying active. Again, came in. Very confident. Didn't look overwhelmed by the moment. Wisely protective of himself. Mm. Seems reluctant to just throw. He's, he's watching out for those punches. He, he's doing the right thing right now. He's controlling that gate right now. He's trying to control that distance. He's using his jab. And there it is on Twitter.com slash TR Boxing. You can vote. Let us know who you think is winning these rounds. And round one, the people gave to Manny Pacquiao. Oh, please, that's just fake. Just, they don't know. Neither one of them did anything. Pacquiao throwing some right hands in there as they lock up. Pacquiao slipped that right hand, uh, left hand in there again. 
Vargas with that right hand tucked. Keeps his jab up, looking to stay busy. Every time Pacquiao bobs his head to the to his right, he always throws that left down the pipe. Pay attention to that. So what do you do? You better move your That's head. What I'm saying. What you <laughs> Every time he's, he steps, just watch him. He bobs his head back and forth, back and forth. Every time he goes to his right, he throws the left hand. That rhythm that you seem to have figured out very well has been very difficult for most everybody it to is. figure out from. I mentioned Juan Manuel Marquez, Marco Antonio Barrera, same thing. Yeah. Yes, but yes. you wonder, at 37, can the energy be sustained? Oh, yeah. I'm not worried about that. Pacquiao looks to get it going now. Slips that and fires back. Not much damage. A little more action, though. Vargas slips in the left hand. Caught him on the way in. Yeah. And Pacquiao doesn't want to get caught up on the way in. We know this. Can you try feints, Tim? Because that looks like Vargas is trying that. Does that work? Oh! Oh! It can happen that fast. Pacquiao puts Vargas down. Final seconds. Vargas firing back hard, trying to answer. By the way, impressive fighter, yes. undefeated coming in, but no one is quite ever ready for the speed of Pacquiao. Speed and power. I like the way he responded late in that round, though, don't you think? Yes. Vargas was firing at the end of that round. Like I told you, Pacquiao starts jumping around because he's excitable. And that's the time to catch him. There's time right to catch to the body and then to the head. You see, there's time to catch Manny Pacquiao. See, Manny Pacquiao sets back, he adjusts his trunks. He sets back, he'll maybe bang his gloves together. Those are the times when you step to Manny Pacquiao. Those tendencies, that, Those he tendencies that he reveals to you. That's when you step the Manny Pack out and bag him up. You have, have opportunity, so just pay attention to that. One other thing, Brian, you see how wide Vargas' legs are spread? <laughs> oh, oh, hit him again with a left hand. And another one. Pacquiao looks fluid with the combinations. He fast and hard. Fast and hard punches. And Vargas still looks a little tight. Well, normally, if a guy has his legs spread like that, you're, ner you're tight, you're nervous, and you're, yes. on, you're on guard, which you should be, yeah. but you're not fighting tall. He's got four inches of, of height on him. And he can't get out of the way. That's a tough jab. Pacquiao just nailed him on the way in. Pacquiao's really starting early. Vargas is left. Now, look at Manny dancing around. And lands a left hand. No, you're right. He is, he is energized. With all the politics and all his busy schedule and all of that, you know what? He finds time to train. You can say all of that, too, all of but that. here's the deal. Vargas he looks slower. Obviously is slower. Tight. Legs spread apart. Man, he's stepping on his foot when he's throwing punches. Beautiful tactic. He had an 18-week training camp. Not purposely. 19. 19 weeks. 19 weeks. Not purposely because he... He had a fight with Cal Brook, and it fell out. He took two weeks off, got in the training camp because he, he landed the Pacquiao fight. And I feel that he might he might be overtrained for this fight. Cal Brook, yeah. Looking yeah. for the Brook fight, got the Golovkin fight instead. That shot, I don't know if Kenny Bale has said that was low or to the side. Was that an illegal said it was shot? Low. Are y'all watching yes. how slow Vargas looks with that left hook? Yes. Well, comparatively. <laughs> I'm talking, no, no, I'm talking yeah. about with his own left hook. Man, Manny Pacquiao ain't even in the position. He was going to put it with a right, right there. He hurt Manny Pacquiao with that one. Ah, uh, not hurt. No, he stung not him. Not hurt. He Jimmy. stung him. Hard right hand by Jesse Vargas. He stung that him. What's your definition that of hurt? That stung him. Shot he stung him. The round. There are certain shots. One knockdown in this fight already. I'll defer. 
as we get to round number four and coming off a round where Manny Pacquiao was completely energized, jumping around, throwing his shots. He's starting early. Normally he starts around four, but he's, he, he's putting the gas pedal on right now. He's really trying to test this young kid. Going back to what the people are saying all three rounds so far on Twitter. You are voting out there. You watch the fight. All three rounds going to Manny Pacquiao. I had the first round even. Manny Pacquiao having the last two. That's fair. I'm yeah. always fair, Tim. That's fair. I'm always fair. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you can be fair and he can disagree with you. <laughs> yeah, <Exactly>. yeah. <laughs> like Pacquiao is really an incredible fighter. You think about it, he's up at 147. He came in at 144. He debuted at 106. He was a world champion at 112 pounds. I mean, this is not even his weight class. It's where the money is. You see Pagot now dropping, dropping, dropping punches down to the body now. Jesse Vargas need to be, be cautious there. If he start dropping shots at the bottom, he's going to surprise him up top. He's getting more active, though. Throwing more punches. Every left hook, Vargas misses by a mile. Pacquiao looking for his opening. Jumps in with a lead left. And which side was he on? Was he on his right side when he did that? Left. He was on his right side when he did that. He was that. on his right. Back out. So, yeah. so he's trying to right. catch him going through and again does that. Oh, and a lead right nice shot by right. Vargas. Vargas has a lot of power in that right hand. Yes, he does. He's turning it over now. That's what his trainer said. He said that, you know, they, they use a different technique now. He's teaching them how to turn his punches over, how to get leverage behind his shots, putting his hip into it. Well, you were beating him most every round when you fought him, Tim, and yeah. then he caught you, had you hurt late. Yeah, he did. But I, I made a mechan big mechanical mistake, mistake when I fought him, and uh, I know that now. Pacquiao got to be careful with that big shot. I'm telling you. It's tricky. Pacquiao doing all sorts of movement. Stepping in, Vargas. Trying to impose his will, stand his ground. A lot of people don't really talk about Manny Pacquiao's defense. I've been in there with him. He's tough to hit. He is tough to hit. He blocks a lot of shots off his arms. You know, he moves his head just a bit. You know, gets out of range with his feet. He's very difficult, man. He's in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. Head is always moving. In this fight, feet are always moving. <laughs> Unloads with the left hand. And the right Vargas hand fires back. Spirited round as Vargas. Yeah. You don't hear that too often. You don't hear that too often. Well, you want to get fired up because, again, Manny Pacquiao is the happy warrior in there. But Vargas seems to be enjoying. You have to relish the combat. Yeah. You've got, and I think that's what we're getting here. Well, he's the champion. And he's fighting like a champion. Round five. Oh, he's thinking like a champion right now. I'm going to show you the punch stats as of right now. Pacquiao outlanding Vargas. Pretty close, 34-29. Again, reasonable margin of error. More punches being thrown by Jesse Vargas. More importantly, the last couple of rounds, Pacquiao hasn't really landed, you know, the kind of power shots we saw earlier. Wayne Vargas is hitting Shot. Yeah, <laughs> particularly the right hand. You know, Vargas, you gotta, you gotta stay relaxed. You gotta, stay, you gotta listen to his corner. The good oh. left hand by Pacquiao as he steps in. Vargas took it well. He took it surprisingly well. I knew he had a beard. He's showing it. He, he, it's, it's devastating tonight. It's, he has a really good chin on him. The right side of Vargas' face is puffing up a little bit already. Those, those are hard, hard shots. Tim, you know that. Yes. And you and you got away clean a few times on him, <laughs> but still. You see all the feints that Manny Pacquiao is that, that doing, doing right now? And you see how Vargas is reacting. Always looking to try to strike. That, that drains your energy. I'm telling you, it really does. It drains your energy. Vargas with nice. the faint right hand and comes back with the jab. Good combination. Nice. Pacquiao answers with his own left. I think Vargas is having a good round right now. He's having a real good round right now. That's when he stepped to him. Steps in with the right hand again. Just like that. Vargas says bring it. 
Pacquiao obliges. Pacquiao, Pacquiao was messing with his trunks when he did that, when he stepped to him. So that's a little habit, yes. a bad habit that he's got. Yes. You, you picked up on, you try to jump in. Vargas there slipped on the side of the ring apron and threw that shot low off his hip. Back out gives you subtle moments to be able to attack him. When he puts his hands up, spams uh, his gloves together. When he goes and he reaches down and good combination. The crowd will go berserk over shots that don't land. It happened to you, Tim. Oh, yeah. And those shots didn't land on Vargas. You wonder, though, how it does influence the judging. It's possible. You have to be very experienced not to get swayed by that. Yes. Nice right hand on the top. Back out just a minute ago, bam his gloves together. Getting a little frustrated. Marcus very game in the final seconds of round five. By the right hand. Good round for Jesse Vargas, I think. And I thought he won that last round. We go to round six. Benny Pacquiao, Jesse Vargas here at the Thomas and Mack Center. Over 16,000 here tonight. Pacquiao wages on at the age of 37. Again, three-time fighter of the year. He had that electrifying run of De La Hoya, Hatton, and Cotto. Everybody's got a Pacquiao so far. I thought Cotto was his most impressive fight. Yes, yes. I, he, had to, he had to wade through the fire of a prime Miguel Cotto. Prime Miguel Cotto. And, and willing you, to take the fire in order to get through and land his own shots. And he finally broke down a guy who would many years later become the middleweight champion of the world. Well, some, some will say that Cotto was drained going in that fight. You know, Cotto should have moved up in weight, um, you know. Before that fight, he should have moved up and waited. But he was, say he was know, drained. He was also so much bigger than Manny Pacquiao in that fight. I mean, that, remember the first time when he fought De La Hoya and moved up and went? We thought, oh my God, this guy can't fight these big guys. Yeah, yes, he can. Good right hand by Vargas. Vargas now trying to find some distance. He is. He's controlling that game pretty good right now. I mean, he, you know, he's. Uh, He's not throwing his jab, you know, with consistent conviction, but, you know, he's pawing. He's landing that right hand that will like that every time. Every time Manny Pacquiao steps back, he's, he's following him with the straight right hand. He has a four-inch reach advantage. He's using it pretty well right now. He's swelling on the right side of Jesse Vargas. Take a better look at that eye. He wheels around. But he is taking some good hard shots from Pacquiao's left hand. Well, he'll need to use that jab more and more extensively because that right eye is damaging anyway. Good Ooh. shot right there. Nice right hand by Jesse Vargas as well. Coming right, right off, punches. Coming right off the jab as well. Ooh. Yeah, that right eye is swelling shut. He some straight left hands. Yeah, he's susceptible to Pacquiao's left. Everybody seems to be. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Except the guy sitting on us. It's just so fast. He steps in. It's just so fast. Vargas with some body work. And then to the head. Willing to engage. Oh, straight left hand. That was quick. Different rhythm on that. Vargas right now is behaving like a champion. He's standing there. He's standing in his ground. He is, he is defending his title right now. Jumps in again with that left hand. Lead left. It's a and point, but it ain't hurt. Yep. Oh, nice right hand. Nice shot to the right. Firing to the very bell. Good spirited work. High level of work in the ring as we now go to round seven. Brian, just so y'all know, I got Vargas winner right now. First round was even. Packy out second and third round. Vargas the last three rounds to be. Really? Yes, sir. He's landing his clean right hand. Yes, he is. Left hand Got him slightly ahead Pacquiao. right now. Is it possible from Dewey Cooper to land some body shots for Vargas? That's what he wanted him to do. How hard is that to do? Oh, he can land some body shots. 
but <laughs> then he has to go into the jaw's mouth. Because <laughs> you, you got to be able to throw body shots in close, not unless you throw straight punches to the body. He has a four-inch reach advantage. Nice right hand. Pacquiao ends his back. Had that jab straight up the middle, and he lands it again and again. So he is landing this and scoring and doing some damage. A good fight. Right jab from Pacquiao. And then the right. speed. Left down coming That's off good. that jab. That's an interesting twist, huh? Suddenly a quick jab like that. Yeah, man, he, he throws punches at odd angles. Oh! Different angles. Okay. Angles that you're not accustomed to. He's caught Vargas with about five or six shots this far. Nope. Vargas looks to go to the hook. Kenny Baylor says keep him up, but fight on. See, what Vargas is doing wrong right here is he's standing right in front of him. He can't stand in front of Pacquiao. Got to keep moving those feet. Again, Vargas dips down, gets yep. that right on the waistline. Jesse Vargas said he was feeling stronger about two rounds ago. Man, you've got to have a lot in the tank to stay with this guy. Yes, you do. Even at 37. Yes, you do. Manny Pacquiao is non-stop. That's why they call him Pac-Man. He can change gears at any time, too. But I like what I'm seeing from Vargas right now. I like it before this round. He, listen, he's, he's, he's trying to set up that right hand. It looks like he's being patient. But he's still taking shots. He's taking he? shots. I know he is. But well, how do you like it then? No, you don't I like, I like, no, I just see, I just see what he's trying to do. He's trying to, he's trying to get pack out to get relaxed. He's trying to land an old hand. I'm telling you, he's so, he's really sneaky with it. Okay. That's his trick punch. Stephen A., I know what you're saying, though. It's going to come down to rounds. Yeah. As we get someone starts, which can happen, but it's going to come down to winning rounds. Guys, that, that was a Pacquiao round. That was a yeah, Pacquiao was round. Let's be reminded, Manny Pacquiao hasn't had a knockout since 2009. Fights go decisions. These points matter. Manny Pacquiao started to throw a, a quick jab in there in that round. There it is. Manny Pacquiao, what he did was he followed, he followed Vargas' jab right behind it. And then the quick right hand and landed, straight left after. Landed three straight right there. Right Vargas. over the top of his. And and, and listen, Vargas has a four-inch reach advantage. Yep. But that shows you how quick Manny Pacquiao is. Drink, okay? Okay? Walk the middle of the ring, keep his ass turning, moody your left primarily, okay? I need that straight I need that straight right. I need that right uppercut. I need that right uppercut. Freddie Roach, we asked him about Manny, his new job, one of 11 members of the Philippine Senate. And he said, look, it's either singing lessons, basketball, or something. You know, this is more serious, obviously, what he's doing for his country in the Philippines. But Freddie Roach said he likes a full plate. Take a look at the punches so far, pretty close. Just a good fight. It's a good, good scrap fight. so far. It's a good fight. It's high good energy, fight. high work rate. Another jab by Pacquiao. And here's what the people are saying. Again, Stephen A, you're doing the scoring for us here. So they had an even round in the sixth. Wow. Wow. Out of all those votes, that's tough. So seven rounds to one, Manny Pacquiao. Stephen, how do you have it? No, I won't go that far. I'm thinking you gave, you gave Manny Pacquiao two points for round two to knock down, okay? Round three and the last round. So I got Vargas winning four, five, and six. About even right now. We're in round eight, and I know in this fight there's the money guy, and then there's the guy with the belt. Right. I've always maintained you don't have to take anything from anybody. You have to win rounds. That's all. There's no knocking out the champ or anything else. You win rounds. And a lot of people say that you got to take it from the champion. It like, oh, there it Answering is. with the right hand. Pacquiao nailed him with a jab, and Vargas says, "Bring it." And Vargas is bringing it. Yes, he is. 
Lands a hook as well. Pacquiao moves in. Timmy said it. He's looking for it. There it is. Oh. Pacquiao comes in. And they clashed heads there as well. The blood flows from Jesse Vargas right above his nose. Fires off a right hand. Pacquiao so dangerous as he steps in. I think Jesse Vargas is fighting the best fight that he can fight right now. I know he's getting hit with shots, but you know what? He's returning fire as well. He's fighting like he's behaving like a champion. And now he pawns at his own blood as Pacquiao hits him with some soft jabs. He's not running. He's standing right there. He's exchanging with Manny Pacquiao. Well, overhand left by Pacquiao. Pacquiao got him stunned. Hits him again with a left. In between all these shots, though, Vargas is firing back. Let's be clear. He is. We're still losing this round, guys. Yes, he is losing this round. Nice right hand at the end. Lands the right. They have a chat, and they'll have a seat. Ready for round nine. This has been exciting. Manny Pacquiao, 37 years old, the older man in the ring by 10 full years. Jesse Vargas, the pride of Las Vegas. He's the one with the WBO belt. And he's made a good account of himself here. Tim Bradley, you said that he's fighting the best fight possible. He's fighting the best fight that he possibly can fight right now. They you control know. that blood flow fairly well. Take a look at the punches landed in round eight. Copy Box has it in favor of Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao landed a lot of punches this last, this last round. Again, that cut caused by the clash of heads in that eighth round. But this. Good right Good hand by Vargas. Another clash of his. And now Pacquiao with his left power shot. There's going to be some of that. Pacquiao is always jumping in, and Vargas is not backing up. Now, the ruling by the Nevada State Athletic Commission, by the way, is that that cut was caused by a punch. All right. So that's the official ruling. Now, we just showed the replay where it looks like their heads clashed. I can't tell if the blood started to flow immediately after, but it there's seemed a, like it did, didn't it? another clash of heads just now. Again. Okay. No one's doing it intentionally. It's just a, a well, right, right-hander versus a left-hander. But again, the, just the difference is, if this is stopped because the doctor says there's too much blood flowing, yep. it'll be a win for Pacquiao and not go to the cards. That's right. the essential difference in that ruling. Strong left hand by Pacquiao. <laughs> Behind. That's speed. Pacquiao in round nine at 37 years of age. This is something. 37 used to be old. Not anymore. Not for him. I know. You know 30 is the new 20 now. <laughs> and 40 is the new 30. We still got 50 year olds fighting. It's true. That don't mean they should be. That's <laughs> also true. <laughs> that guy who had his hands up there. He blocked those shots. Straight right hands from Vargas. Tries to go to the body as well. Pacquiao has displayed a good jab in this fight. Back out there Especially again. Especially this round. There you go. Moving to his moving to his right and throwing that left down the pipe. Back out comes in with his body shot. Now back out seems like he's trying to break him down now. Going down to that body. Jesse Vargas looked like he's he's took he's took the foot off the gas pedal a little bit. Yeah, his round. his mouth is open too, Tim. He's sucking in some more air. Yeah. So all the starts have been taken out of Jesse Vargas as we finish round nine. So there we are. If it is stopped. Now again, the blood flow is not something that looks like it's going to stop this fight. And here we go. Tenth round. They'll fight 12. Stephen A., you still got Vargas winning? No, I do not. Okay. I have Pacquiao won it. Now Vargas is My changing this. Changing his strategy right now. In my initial scorecard, I neglected to add an extra point for the knockdown by Pacquiao, I believe. 
Good combination by Pacquiao. And again. I told you that when Manny smells, he's like a shark. When he smells blood, he goes and gets it. Yeah, and he can sense a little bit of the fighting spirits exactly. on the wane on Jesse Vargas. Exactly, and that's why he's starting to turn it up. That's experience. All you got to do is stay away from the straight right. I mean, Jesse Vargas can't hit, can't connect on the left hook to save his life. He's missed him all game, all fight, yeah. all night. Yeah. <laughs> Right through the left hand. Tim, I don't think that blood has bothered him too much, right? It's not rolling into the eye? No, no, no. It's, a, it's away from the center of the eye. It's actually, it's actually more towards the, the nose, close to the nose on top of the eye. So it's not dripping down in his vision. We are a much more humane sport now than we used to be. Yes. If you watch the old fight films, blood would be flowing. They wouldn't even be thinking about stopping it. Good right hook by Pacquiao, yeah. and he follows up. A speed. Manny Pacquiao has, has figured him out at this point. He's figured him out at this point. Jesse Vargas is standing still. He's just a sitting duck right now. Manny Pacquiao is doing whatever he wants. Oh, nice clean right hand by Jesse Vargas right there. Slipped that right in. The thing I like about, about Vargas is he's always ready in position to strike. You have to be that way against Manny Pacquiao. Good jab again. The answer's with a hook. Jab by Pacquiao. But Vargas... He tried the overhand right yep. right there. Yep. He didn't get a chance to turn. He didn't turn it over. Mm -hmm. He slapped him with it. Well, again, just to point out in the fight that Vargas had with you, Tim Bradley, again, he had you wobbled in that the last, last 30 time. seconds. And that's after losing a lot of rounds. And you're a very tough guy. To, you're a physical guy to fight. Yeah. It just shows you something of his spirit, that he is, he is not a guy who will go away. No. Not and, at all. And he still wants those seven seconds back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he does. Well, he can't get those seven seconds back. And keep this in. Good. Pacquiao came out and landed. Crawford, Errol left. Spence. Errol Spence is... Mm -hmm. I love that guy. Strong jabs for Manny Pacquiao. Here are the punches. Through round 10, Pacquiao out landing Vargas, according to CompuBox. Throwing about 100 more punches as well. He is fired up in this round. Yes, he I mean, he's is. fired up every round, but this is something. Oh, yeah. Put his foot on the accelerator. Vargas takes a deep, deep breath oh. and a wild right hand. He landed it high on the head. If he landed that on the chin, Pacquiao might have been on Queer Street. I'm, I'm telling you, man, it's a hard shot. People doing the voting on Twitter going all Pacquiao. There's only one even round. Good straight right hand by Vargas. You know, you can... You can you can say how how to beat Manny Pacquiao. We can sit here and look at it and say how to beat Manny Pacquiao, but it's it's easier said than done. But the guy who did the best against Pacquiao, I think, Tim, is you. Actually, it was you. Hey, I, I... <laughs> look, Mark has. You know, they went tooth and nail. They had classics, right? Yeah. And, and so they had class, a, a classic trilogy with Eric Morales. Oh, you got Mayweather. And Floyd Mayweather. Mayweather, of course. Yeah. Of course. Floyd is the master defensive fighter of the generation. I think Mayweather kept him under 100 punches landing. He comes in. Oh. Argus caught him with a shot on the way in. He caught him coming in. Caught him with that hook, too. Argus blinking out the blood. Mouth is open, sucking in air, but he is still game and still trying. Back out over here looking at Floyd Mayweather. Is that who he smiled to? That looked like was he was you? smiling. At, he wasn't smiling at me. He no? was smiling at Mayweather. <laughs> 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 Floyd shrugs and says, what do you want from me? <laughs> Just watching the fight. All right. We'll let you enjoy it. But he did look over here. Final minute of round 11. Ain't that wrong? Want to get paid? Wanting to get paid? 
That a win, though. Oh, I don't that was know. a short left hand from Pacquiao on the way in. Now, you, Tim, you're right. You barely see it. Yes. It comes right off, and it, it's just thudding in its power. Yes. Uh, Manny Pacquiao has broken. He's broken uh, Jesse Vargas down a bit. He's not afraid of his arsenal now. Now he's pushing forward, putting his foot on the gas pedal, and uh, he's trying to oh. take out Jesse Vargas. That's being ruled a slip. It looked like Pacquiao hit him with a right hook. Yeah, but that feet were tangled tripped. up. His feet, yeah. his feet were tangled up. I think you're right. Oh, oh. got it. Pacquiao stumbles back, and we're done with round 11. All that, all that stare down and stuff that Vargas is doing does nothing for, for him in this fight. Nothing. Let's watch this again. Yeah, they're on each other's feet. So Vargas is on Pacquiao's feet. And then, and then gets he crossed up. He, but he got hit. Up. He got hit. He got crossed up. Huh. He tripped over his foot. Pacquiao has stepped up the activity, figured it out, using his jab more, straight right, straight left. As a result, I don't have Vargas winning a round since the sixth. I'm amazed, Stephen A., by the, the intensity yes. that Pacquiao has kept every single round. And suddenly, a jab coming out of nowhere. And also has taken a few good shots yep. from Vargas yes. while coming in, but still stayed up and remained in attack mode. Yes. 12th and final round. Jesse Vargas is the champ. He's the man with the belt. Obviously, we know Pacquiao is the legend coming back. Had retired briefly. Coming back tonight. And at 37, he has looked full energy. Right now, Jesse Vargas, right now, he needs a miracle right now. He needs to land that overhand right if he can. He needs to find a way to land that punch. He is trying right there, blocked by Pacquiao. But he's game every second. There's another left jab. hook miss from Vargas. Has connected on that punch all night. Yeah. And a straight lead left hand from Pacquiao. Pacquiao went to his right again. He's not aware of that. That guy's really good at that. That's like his bread and butter shot right there. Vargas goes to the body. Oh, and then the game for that. Pacquiao makes him pay on the way in. But did you see where he threw that punch from? He threw it from like his almost his hip. You know, Vargas is expending so much energy, Tim. It's a point you brought up early. He's expending so much energy just standing there yes. while Pacquiao is completely still. Yes. Except when he's firing. Halfway through the final round, and Jesse Vargas has made Manny Pacquiao earn it. He put up a good showing. It's not over yet, but he definitely put up a good showing, Jesse Vargas. And I think he's done a, he did a lot better than what people expect. Well, I'm not sure about that. He didn't do bad, but I'm no. not sure people expected that much. A big he underdog. Up a good, yeah. he, put, he picked up a good. He picked. He, you know, he actually fought well. Every media member that was asked about this said, "Boy, I really like Vargas, but, but, but right, he's not I, I'm not saying he's going to win the fight, but I was saying that he's put on a good showing. No, oh, yes, absolutely. You know, he's not no running doubt. around. So you ring. like moral victims? It's good. It's fine. Okay. okay. They can lead to bigger I'm not, victories. I'm not moral sure. victims. I'm just saying, not more. Come on, moral victories to win. <laughs> It's all about winning, period. That's what it's He's about. He's tweaking you. He's cheap shot. It's you. about winning. It's about winning. <laughs> I'm going to take a right. point away, Steve. Hey, come on. Yeah, one more time. Come on, Steve. Final 30 well, seconds. I'm just saying, you sitting up here talking about, oh, he, you know, he did better than people expected. Let's see if they can close the show. Yes. Hackier weighs in, taps the gloves. One knee. Kenny Bellis calls it a slip. Wow. And that's it. Even power. Manny Pacquiao looked tremendous. Tremendous. Fought every 10 second stanza of every minute of every round. Jesse Vargas did everything I could. He could. He could Tim, I agree with could. you. He fought the best that he possibly he, could. He There's only so the much he can do. Yes. yes. Stepping up a level above.
Pacquiao, this is why he's one of the all-time greats. You know, we showed the, the clips before the fight. You saw a, a lot of Alexis Arguello. Right. Even Agu Arguello went from 126 up to 140, where he was stopped by Aaron Pryor. Yes. Pacquiao has gone from 112 pounds to 147. Guys that size just never come up to this level. And yet, he still could be the number one guy of a very talented welterweight division. He is the number one guy. Let's watch again. You're saying that. You yes, think he's number he one. Yes, Pick it up in round two. It was slow in the early going, but then the quick left hand coming off and dropping Jesse Vargas in the second round. From there, Pacquiao coming in with the power shots. Vargas answering with his right hand throughout. Yes. And he had his moments where he landed some hard shots. I would expect Vargas, I'm not scoring it, Tim. I would expect Vargas to take some of those middle rounds. I would think. Some, well, some of them. You know, I... I, then didn't there was score, the, I didn't score the fight. Then there was a cut. Again, that was ruled from a punch, and I think they may have gotten that accurately. We thought initially yeah. that it was from a clash of heads. Right. Quite possibly it was from a punch. And in, in a very crowded division, I mentioned Keith Thurman, Danny Garcia, Kel Brook, Tim Bradley, Sean Porter, Errol Spence, and Jesse Vargas was in the top 10. And he threw over 560 punches, but only landed 104. Constant head movement from Pacquiao, Constant Tim. Constant head movement from Pacquiao. Constant punching from Pacquiao. Landing a straight left. Here's straight how left you, down the pipe. And here's how you judged it at home against Stephen A. Smith. Said he had it Pacquiao, but the people at home had it Pacquiao going away. Didn't give Vargas one round. Not had one that round. six round even. Glenn Feldman, Dave Moretti, Glenn Trowbridge are the judges. And we will hear from them now. Let's go to Michael Buffer. By way of win results, we go to the scorecards. Dave Moretti scores at 114 to 113. Glenn Drobich scores it 118 to 109. Glenn Feldman has it 118 to 1.